process. So the apples, you can see them going into the grinder. And then on the other side, we have the cider press where they are loading the grinded apples up. Explain what that process is. Yeah, so we're taking the apples that we've ground up and we're filling them into these cloths and then kind of stacking them up with these wooden racks in between them. Um, and that just kind of allows for, you know, space for the juice to drain out as it's being pressed. Um, and so you can even start to see that, you know, as soon as we start layering more of them on, they kind of start squishing and uh, leaking juice out the bottom. Is this the traditional uh, process? I mean, is this is how they used to do it way back when? And it's, it's, it seems kind of like an old school process. It is, totally. Um, I believe actually this cider press came from uh, Bergdahl's down in Scandia. Um, so it's kind of been around in the community for like several decades and we're really fortunate to have a friend of ours that's been willing to let us use it. And uh, yeah, it's kind of like the perfect size and scale for our operation and you know, still uses like traditional methods. Yeah. So, we, go ahead. Oh, sorry, I was going to ask about uh, just the, if, if there's any waste involved in this product, because obviously you're extracting the juice, but you have all this pulp left over. And it, oh, it's kind of exciting, you can see the juice running out now. There we go. Uh, so yeah, after, after we press uh, each of the racks up together, uh, we'll unfold the cloths and we have uh, kind of like dehydrated apple pulp that we then collect up and one of our local egg farmers takes that back and feeds it to uh, his pigs and chickens. So there really is no waste. Yeah. Totally, yep. And then I was asking you during the break about those um, those barrels behind the press because they, they say cider on them. Yeah. So explain uh, what those are. Yeah, so we, you know, we bottle a certain amount of fresh cider each week. Um, and whatever's left over, uh, we put in those vessels to ferment into hard cider. Um, and so we'll start kind of building up a stock of hard cider over the next few weeks here and flavoring it and then kind of restock our shelves with that. Awesome, awesome. So how many dozens of apples are we going to use here this morning? Uh, that is a great question. So we, <laughs> on a typical week, we will go through like 40 to 60 bushels of apples in uh, one pressing, which is about like three pallet bins worth. Okay. Um, so I think there's about a half bushel in each of these milk crates. Uh, so yeah, about 80 to 120 milk crates worth of apples. And that all becomes apple cider and yeah. it goes on your shelf. Yeah, and we end up with about, I think like 120, 180 gallons of cider each time we uh, do a pressing. And you're selling that every week? Yes. That's incredible. It's, it's yes, incredible. it is. And is, is it very seasonal? Is it only in the fall or do you do it all year? Uh, super seasonal, yeah. So we just started doing this like a week or two ago and we'll probably run until like as late as February or March, um, <laughs> kind of depending on like availability of apples and if we, you know, our stamina to continue going through the season sort of thing, but it really serves as a good way to like fill in some time and, uh, you know, for us during the off season and kind of, you know, carry over some summer momentum into fall and have something really exciting to offer. I'm really waiting for that to get stacked up so we can see the pressing. I'm really anxious to watch it all. Are we are we getting close? We're getting close. Yeah, I think it'll be a couple more minutes and then they'll slide that forward and we'll uh, they'll start filling the next row of racks and uh, we'll have cider just pouring out of there. All right, let's take a break while okay. she's finishing that up because I do not want to miss the pressing of that uh, stack there. So uh, we're going to take a quick commercial break and when we come back, we'll. We'll get to pressing, hey? See it all happen, yeah. eh?